Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, about a month ago, I decided that I wanted to do an experiment and actually go green. And I wanted to try to actually just live in the van, make it a motorhome or a camper, and just go ahead and travel. So what I've done is I put the solar panels up on the roof to create the power that might be needed to, to run appliances. Now you know that things can run off of the inverter. You see them advertised, you see them in the hardware stores. The drill, jigsaw, these things, these tools easily run off of a power inverter. And I'm gonna show you what else can run off of a power inverter and what can't. So let's take a look. So during my travels, I've picked up some things like this little fan right here. This is a tiny little fan. It runs off of a USB. And the USB cord just plugs right in either to my inverter or into the control box. And it makes a tiny little breeze. Can you hear that? But this little guy, when I was in Cape Hatteras, and it was pretty warm out, it was in the you know, low to mid 80s, this was just enough to cool the van off and keep the sweat off of you. It didn't help the flies and the mosquitoes, but it definitely kept you a little bit cool. So that works pretty good. But some things I wanted to try were coffee maker. I was so curious because I like to have you know coffee or tea in the morning like anybody else. And of course I have a camp stove right here and that works great. But it would be so nice to be able to just plug this guy in and have those conveniences that we have at home. But does it work? This is a 750 watt power inverter. This is a 900 watt coffee maker. We're going to plug it in and just see what happens, right? When I turn it on, and I turn on the coffee maker, you can hear the alarm go off instantly. And the control box actually shuts the power off and doesn't let the battery drain anymore. And it'll keep trying as these numbers come up over here to above about 11.8, it kicks on. But you can see it just draining it, 11.5, 11, 1, 11, it just bounces all over the place. So a coffee maker at 900 watts just doesn't work. But what else works? Like I said, you know that power tools work really well. And I've used these power tools while I'm traveling. Sometimes I'll make adjustments to shelving or things like that. You need to cut some wood. We can plug the jigsaw in here. We only have 11.9 volts available, but this will still power up and will cut wood. Let's see what the drill does. Always take a look as I'm showing you, take a look at these numbers because they really bounce around when we put power on this inverter and draw from the battery. Here's our drill. The drill works pretty good. It actually draws more power, but it stays pretty constant over here. You can see, and I could run this drill for hours and hours. Everybody needs an electric drill when they're traveling. The other thing I wanted to try was an electric blanket. And I thought maybe if I had the electric blanket when I'm up here in the northern part of the country, that it would keep me warm at night. And you know what I found out? It does. I don't have a lot of power here because this is early morning, but let's take, let's take a look. My power inverter's on. I only have 11.8 volts available. We're gonna kick this on, you'll see it. And it starts to power up here. Got it on high and this thing is working great. And this little blanket, I can keep this thing running pretty much all night if I keep it on low. If I put it on high, it'll drain the battery out in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. But wow, what a difference that made 
and sleeping in the van. There's lots of other uses that you can get out of this power inverter and or out of a control box. And you can, this is my GoPro. You've seen me use this in my drainage videos. But this guy is great. It's better than the cigarette lighter because it has much more power going directly to the camera. Not enough to burn out the camera by any means. But we can plug this guy in and let it run right off of that inverter. You can see the little red lights coming on right here. And push the button. And it's telling us that it's charging. You can see down below, if you look carefully, you see that guy charging. And I can let this charge while I'm surfing, windsurfing, hiking, whatever I'm doing, and come back and we've got a fully charged camera. Other things that we can run off of the power inverter and strictly off of the use of the sun, the solar panels, charging the battery. I'm going to give you, a, you know, you know these things, but let's take a look. You can see I've got my fan running, I've got my camera charging, I've got my computer running, running a video, and we've also got the TV on. As you can see, those are things that you know, already know that you can do. And basically, I just kind of wanted to give you some ideas, maybe give you some insight, inspire you of what can you do with a solar panel and how you can use it. Remember, I'm up here at, at Alum Creek. You can see behind me, see that water back there. I'm at a state park and there is no electricity out here at all. So I'm strictly using the sun, which is really cool. All these things are running basically off of the power of the sun. Hey, hopefully I've inspired you to think about going green. Solar panels, they work great. They provide a lot of energy. Not as much as when you plug it into that AC in the house, but pretty close. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.